Hey YouTube, today I have the Tramontina 18 inch uh, machete. Uh, this is a, a review, an unboxing, and we're gonna test. The, there have been a lot of reviews about this Tramontina machete. However, we're gonna check out uh, how it can be used for self defense. We're gonna t discuss some points, and of course, I'm gonna show it to you the, the main purpose of this machete, which is to cut uh, trees, woods, and uh, leaves and use it as a branches. Use it as a gardening or as a survival or a tool of uh, that you use in the uh, outside. So it's uh, it comes without a sheath, unfortunately. It says made in Brazil. Let's take a closer look. It says original machete. It says king of machetes. It comes at a very cheap price at around ten plus euros. Well, I bought this for around thirteen euros, I believe. Uh, and with the, the plastic handle, and, um, it has a hole here for a lanyard. However, this means that I don't know if it's full tang or not. Perhaps it is, but this has a hole here, and it's made in Brazil. The thing that uh, impressed me says well sharpened, and it is a bit sharpened here. We're going to discuss about the fact that it's sharpened or not. We're going to test it. How it's come sharp out of the box, which it does not. And one of the points we'll discuss in the self-defense issue is the fact that although it's sharpened somehow here, when we move in the tip, there is no sharpening at all. So we have to sharpen the tip. And I'm not, I don't know if this Smith's sharpening tool can do the job with this, which is completely dull. And I believe it's on purpose completely dull, so it doesn't have a tip, so it does not. It's not being used as a weapon. However, you can use it as a weapon as a sla uh, to, to do slashes and stuff like that, but not to point or uh, to use the tip as a weapon. Anyway, one other thing with the machete is that it comes without a sheath. So take in mind that. However, I bought this cold steel sheath Latin machete, which costed, I believe, more than the Tramontina machete itself. And because the Latin machete, it fits quite can do the task like that but you can also buy a cheaper sheath at a lower price than 10 euros or build one yourself it has a belt loop here but of course you, you probably need a sheath for the machete you cannot carry it around like that 1070 steel uh, says that it comes uh, sharp comes with a plastic handle that we said and uh, of course you use it for gardening or stuff like that but let's see if you can use it as a self-defense weapon so a disclaimer that self-defense is uh, a last resort if you cannot do anything else you should not use any weapons carrying weapons in most places of the world is illegal so take in mind that and this is a weapon that probably is not going to be easy to conceal unless you put in a very big bag so let's take first on the cons of having a machete as a self-defense weapon if there's, there's no other alternative and you have to use this as a self-defense weapon somewhere in your house because it's probably legal if you have a garden it's probably legal to to own one of these uh, as we said no tip sharp but not razor sharp out of the box although you can uh, sharpen it uh, single edge and it's thin compared to uh, i have done another video with another machine the cold steel gladius uh, which has double edge has a tip and it has a, a th it's thicker than this one. However, having said that, this is only comes with a fraction of the price, so it's very inexpensive. It's light, not too light, but relatively light. Um, it had a reach, but because it's 18 inch, which is like 45 centimeters. But also at the same time, if you live in the house and you are six foot or even shorter than that, or even a bit taller than that. If you uh, raise that thing up, it's unlikely that you're going to hit the ceiling. Whereas with the longer sword, the long sword of a katana or something like that, it's probably, it's most likely that you're going to reach uh, the ceiling. And of course, another uh, positive thing of this is that it can, uh, it can inflict some damage. This is what has been used as a weapon uh, both in Latin America and the Sub-Saharan Africa so it can inflict damage and if you don't have anything else if in your house you only have knives the longer the knife the better the reach of course you need training for that and then suggest that you train with some sort of stick so you don't cut yourself and as we're going to see 
with its real use outside it's better that uh, when you slash in the canning you don't have your front feet in front of uh, where you're slashing you're making sure that if you're slashing let's say with your right hand better to have your right foot not in front of the blade so when you slice down you don't hit your, <laughs> your feet or something like that okay so having said that let's take out our protective measures which are our uh, mechanics gloves and let's do some gardening let's see how this thing uh, this thing cuts out of the box short bush trimming and uh, small leaves or even wooden leaves from an olive that's like this thick uh, this thing can do the job even though it's not that sharp uh, because it has a very big length it has some weight to it so it's good for clearing out paths in the bush and the jungle uh, but for more, more thicker leaves it's better have an axe or something heavier so it can do a better job but other than that for 10 years I don't think you can go wrong with the Stramontina 18 inch machete and if all things go to hell <laughs> go south uh, it can be used as a self-defense weapon uh, as a hacking tool and if you uh, I'm gonna try to gonna do another video with a Smith's uh, sharpener we can, see we, can, we, we can sharpen the point it can be used as a thrusting weapon as well anyway thanks for watching please like subscribe